there were a lot of factors that came together right at that time. Certainly there was new management at Disney. Uh, Michael mm -hmm. Eisner, Jeffrey Katzenberg had come over from Paramount Studios. Animation was still relatively new to them. They had a sort of a kind of aggressive mentality and ambition and drive that I think kind of infused as, as like a shot of adrenaline into the department. There was a new generation of sort of baby boomer animators and directors and, and people who were really hungry to do something that would sort of affect people the way films affected them, like me, when I was a kid. And Howard Ashman from musical theater, there was a serendipity where he got very involved at that time with, with Alan Menken. And I'd say all of those elements is kind of coming together at the right time and knowing the stakes were high because it was a scary period. And people of our generation knew that the future was questionable, what the future of, of animation might be. So we knew it was important. Yeah, it was kind of a perfect storm of all those elements coming together. And, and a bit of, you know, we were on a kind of an upturn. I think we had really had turned a corner on a couple of films prior that things were starting to finally come together. And I think the studio had a little more confidence with, in us. And, and then, uh, you know, Ron and John, you know, penned a, a, a brilliant script. I remember Jeffrey's comment about how it was one of the best scripts that he had read, even in uh, amongst live action films. So these guys really started off with a, a solid foundation of the great script. But I think we knew we had something special, but how special, you know, you can never predict. But we knew, you know, that the film was, was special. It wasn't during production oversimplified the first part which is story and script and writing songs if it's a musical and casting voices isn't all that different right. um, than the little mermaid that's all essentially the same the second half um, in a digital film is is different I mean it's it's a different process uh, it's all three-dimensional everything is built in three-dimensional space the characters are not drawn they, they are they are rigged models but they're still animated, and, and it's still um, animators are giving performances yeah. through but, those. But, but even with that, the, the, the broad structure isn't that dissimilar, because you, you still start with layout. You still have visual development in terms of what this world is going to look like. It's just how you get there. Instead of you know, hand-drawing character design, showing it to Ron and getting input, you know, you're sitting down with CG modelers and riggers. And so, I mean, there's some technical differences, but the the broad strokes are the same. On Moana, it was a little confusing in the sense of what are we looking at? What's real? What are we, what's, what should we take seriously? What should we not worry about? Because And things keep going back and forth. You have yeah. to get used to it. You have to have trust that it's all going to look great in the end when it all comes together. I would say a little more trust than in a hand-drawn film yeah. where you can see it more clearly on each stage. is very, very clear. You have to trust, but we found that, that um, it did all come together better than we could have hoped for.